on guys sorry for the no video or late video of this because last night got blocked out and now finally got out of the hangar so let's talk about the Golden State Warriors Memphis Grizzlies you know playoff prediction and it'll be an interesting one so before we start today's video I want to hear right now in the comment section your opinion who will win will it be the Golden State Warriors or will it be the Memphis Grizzlies I want to hear and how many games will they win and why they will win so who do you have going to the conference finals and why and how many games let's get right into it the golden state warriors are 53 and 29 while the memphis grizzlies were 56 and 26 okay and steven adams was actually in protocol but he'll be back for this but he was i wouldn't say rendered i guess you could say rendered useless in the timberwolf series because of Carl Anthony Towns and the ability of them going five out. So I think we could see Steven Adams sometimes play. Maybe they try him out early in the series and maybe have to revert back to playing, you know, Jaron Jackson Jr., Brandon Clark, and a bit of Xavier Tillman in there to, you know, go against this Warriors team. Because you look at it, it's probably going to be John Morant, Desmond Bain, Dylan Brooks, Jaron Jackson Jr. I expect Xavier Tillman because of his versatility. Tyus Jones, who was phenomenal last round. Anthony Milton, Kyle Anderson, probably a little bit of Zaire Williams and John Conchar. And the Golden State Warriors are going to be running Steph Curry, Jordan Poole, Clay Thompson, Andrew Wiggins, Draymond Green, Kevon Looney, you know, probably Gary Payne the second, Otto Porter Jr. And behind that, you know, you could see behind Gary Payton, Otto Porter, and Kevon Looney as the first three guys off the bench if they start Draymond and, you know, Jordan Poole and Clay Thompson, Wiggins, and Curry together because they have done that. Or some games they'll start Looney and then just go to that lineup after Looney plays like 10 minutes and, you know, throughout the game collectively. And there has been some Nem Nemja Bielitsa and a little bit of Jonathan Kaminga, Juan Scano Anderson. And I know Andre Iguodala is still out. And I... I doubt even if he was healthy, he'd play because they've just had so much success. And he, he'll he be, you know, reevaluated this coming week for the neck injury. And obviously, we know. So when I look at this, let's talk about John Morant versus Steph Curry. I think John Morant could contain Steph Curry, okay? Then you look at Desmond Bain and Dylan Brooks. Those guys are going to be tasked with shutting down Clay Thompson, Andrew Wiggins, and, you know, Jordan Poole. So Desmond Bain, Dylan Brooks. You know, probably a little bit of Kyle Anderson there and Zaire Williams when he comes off the bench. And really, it's going to be a combination. I think Tyus Jones, DeAnthony Milton, John Moran will m more hone in on, you know, Steph Curry and Jordan Poole because they're more of the guards for this team. But Desmond Bain, Dylan Brooks, you know, Zaire Williams off the bench, Kyle Anderson, even though Kyle plays power forward, he can, he'll, he can guard on the perimeter. So I expect this is where it comes down and be a test of strength. Like, you know, Desmond Bain, Dylan Brooks, they're not elite defenders, but they're not abysmal defenders by any means. So I think Dylan Brooks will probably guard Jordan Poole, you know, or that, you know, eh, it, it depends. I think obviously Jaw's going to take and Ty Jones will take turns Steph Curry. But when you look at this, I think it becomes interesting because Jordan Poole's averaging 21, Clay's averaging 22 through the postseason. And Dylan Brooks and Desmond Bain, will take care of Clay Thompson and Jordan Poole. Then you probably throw, you know, Kyle Anderson in on Andrew Wiggins. And I think Andrew Wiggins will be shut down by Kyle Anderson. I think Dylan Brooks can do a good job of playing physical on Clay Thompson. But I don't know if you want the physicality to be beat on Clay Thompson, Curry, or Poole, because I like Dylan Brooks' aggressive defensive style. So you would probably want him just to hamper whoever you feel like could crumble the most to his physical style of defense then i would i would definitely put desmond bain on jordan pool i feel like that's just the best matchup for them right there and then you look at it it'll be Otto porter jr i personally think isn't somebody people should worry about i think gary Payne the second you should have tyus jones or isaiah williams somebody athletic on him because he's going to take advantage if you put somebody who isn't as athletic as Gary Payne because he's just going to put him on a poster. And we saw it happen multiple times in the last playoff series when Jokic would, you know, Jokic or one of the Greens would, you know, Michael or Jeff Green would get switched on to Gary Payne because of the pick and roll they would do with Gary Payne sending the pick. It would throw them off. So that's something they have to watch out right there. But all in all, 
you look at this and the interesting part is right now, the Golden State Warriors, they go Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, Draymond Green, Otto Porter Jr., Andrew Wiggins, Gary Payne, Kevon Looney, Jordan Poole as really the eight guys that they run regularly for sure. We've seen Nemja Bielitsa and, you know, our guy, you know, Jonathan Kaminga, and we saw a little bit of Andre Iguodala in the first few games. So those are other guys they could play depending on the matchups, but I don't really expect them to play. And I think for the Grizzlies to win this, I think it's going to come down to the Grizzlies being able to make, you know, the Golden State Warriors earn it. So I'm going to take it in seven games, the Memphis Grizzlies are heading to the conference finals. The Memphis Grizzlies are going to head to the conference finals. They're going to upstate the Golden State Warriors. I just think... Jaron Jackson Jr. and Xavier Tillman going up against Draymond Green and, you know, Andrew Wiggins. I think Jaron Jackson Jr. is just going to shut down. You know, the size in this series is going to come down that I think, you know, the rebounding, their leading rebounder, the Golden State Warriors, is Andrew Wiggins with seven rebounds a game, okay? And I think Draymond Green and Andrew Wiggins technically being your front court is going to get demolished by a combination of Xavier Tillman, Jaron Jackson Jr., and Brandon Clark, and probably Steven Adams in there if they do play him. But Brandon Clark and Jaron Jackson Jr., I think Jaron Jackson Jr. is going to be guarded by Draymond Green. And Brandon Clark will be guarded by Andrew Wiggins. And I think Brandon Clark is just going to continue to feast and be the X Factor for this team. And it's going to be the reason why they win, I believe. So this is where I want to hear your thoughts if you guys agree with me. That Yeah, I think Brandon Clark and Jaren, I think Brandon Clark or Jaron Jackson Jr. will be the X Factor. It will be the front court for the Memphis Grizzlies that will, will win it. Yes, Draymond Green's awesome. He's averaging, you know, almost two blocks a game to go with, what, one and a half steals a game. Yes, he's phenomenal, but I just think Jaron Jackson Jr. and Brandon Clark and the lack of size the Golden State Warriors have in their front court will be their downfall in this. So I want to hear your thoughts down below.